both been feeling into what does it mean to be in the divine feminine? What does it mean to be in the divine masculine? And so we've both been exploring that personally within our own lives and seeing it showing up in different ceremonies amongst men and women. And so we wanted to offer an opportunity for ourselves included. In my evolution, there's been like these moments where I've been given all these beautiful teachings and that now it's time to share. Feminine rising or this sisterhood that's happening needs to be taught. So we're seeking the pioneers, the leaders, the teachers, the women that, that are feeling something but you don't really know what it is yet. And then it's a collaboration. It's the divine feminine coming together and creating this safe, sacred space to learn practices and rituals first, both for our healing and then to emanate out to others. That's why we're calling it a journey to wholeness, mm -hmm. creating wholeness. The divine feminine really is inside of us and how to celebrate that, how to embody that and how to worship that within ourselves and within each other. Mm -hmm the two and a half three day ceremony and because the ceremony really will build on itself so what we do on the earlier parts of friday builds into the evenings of friday builds into the afternoons of saturday and the ceremony saturday and sunday and for all our ladies out there i think our big ask is you deserve this mm -hmm. take the time for yourself and so some of what to expect would be... Friday is going to be the day of releasing, which will include breath work. It will include a fire ceremony where you will burn some things that no longer serve you, along with drumming and dancing, like dancing, I have learned huge tool in releasing these emotions, the releasing that the divine feminine need to do and acknowledgement and history and awareness around where we came from maybe if you're feeling suppressed why that is maybe if you're feeling these emotions especially right anger rage frustration and to know that that's okay to love and accept who you are so the first half is the release we're going to let some I, identifying and release go and then day two we are going to go into practices of sacred ritual again releasing with some of the ritual right and learning how to be the witchy witch again that term the witch has been so negated and there actually is a beautiful sacred witch that carries practices and an energy and we just want to make you remember, right? <laughs> we're all sacred in some way, whether we're priestesses, goddesses, witches. And we're going to dive into the worshiping. Gene Key yeah. readings, tarot readings, just different types of rituals. Some are coming back from some of the, the work I've been doing in Costa Rica. So some more indigenous practices and ancient teachings. Some of the work Melissa's been traveling to France and all over the place gaining different tools and knowledge and um, we'll be bringing in some touch and body body work and reawakening as we call it of what the divine feminine really is inside of us and uh, we are going to dip into some sacred sacrament and with the release and then the worship we want you to leave here feeling fully supported you'll leave this retreat with tools. Mm -hmm. You're even gonna probably get a little folder with all the tools in your toolbox. And the other invitation is to go out and teach. Share these practices with others. So it's gonna be a whole wealth of knowledge and information. And we're all in this together. Yeah. It's gonna be a weekend of sisterhood and yes. reconnecting, remembering, reawakening as we call it, of the divine feminine really is inside of us and stuff. celebration celebration of each other yeah and worshiping who we are first so again we can go out there and share it outwardly into the world yeah.